Hey, Digital Growth Hacks Club. This is Jenny Jones. All right, so listen. Monday Madness here today. I'm looking at some tools. I had a nice little drop here, a nice little haul, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Any, nothing jumps off the screen at me. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe. You never know what kind of hacks or tools I'm going to put together to try to help you increase your bottom line here. All right, so listen, we had a couple of tools drop. We had a tool called, uh, let's go back here. This tool called Grower Platform dropped. Uh, Mail Bluster, this is crazy, right? Quick Reel, Orchestra, I can't remember, Lacuza, I think it's Lacuza. Um, we had Live2.ai. Brilliant directories, Odie but Goody showed back up. We had Unifier, ah, Unifier. All right. And then we had Jammy show up. Then we also had Ansley show up. And we also had a tool called UpCoach come back, make its its return. All right. So let's let's get into it here, right? So we start out with Grower Platform. This is more if you're running um, paid ads, it can kind of help you. Uh, keep up with your 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 ROAS return on ad spend. <laughs> That's going to be changing here probably. With Meta is in court today. Surprisingly, uh, ironically, they're in court today on a possible breakup of Instagram and WhatsApp from Meta. Right. And that's a whole nother story. We don't even have to get into that, but this is going to probably change. This is going to be dynamic and how the ads and stuff are going to change here. Do we have mail bluster? Uh, let's that's an elephant in the room. Let me address that right now. So mail bluster has uh, a tool that allows you to do emailing. Now, none of these. And I think a lot of people are looking for, can I run cold emails and all that? Just like any other tool, they're basically saying, no, you can't run that. So another thing you need to be conscious of is these are it's lifetime access, but these are one time. So you can send 30,000 emails one time through their platform. But the thing is, and for what I noticed, the platform, you 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 literally have to run it through um, Amazon, not Amazon. Yeah, you have to run it through uh, Amazon's uh, system just to connect to it. Where is it at? They set it in here. Oh, you have to run it through Amazon Simple Mail Services. This tool uses them. So you have to basically set up a service with SES and run it through there. So uh, I'm just okay on that. I, I think you require me to do a lot more on that than I really need to do. So let me get back to that. Um, what's jumping out at me? Mail Bluster? Nah. Grower Platforms? Nah. Quick Reel? I've kind of seen this tool before. Unless you're doing something different, right? Unless you're 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 moving a direct in a different direction, you're moving a needle in a different direction. Um, take short form, form turn to long form. There's a lot of tools doing this right now, but who does it the best? I'm not sure. So quick, quick, real. I would have to probably go in and do a full um, head-to-head -head comparison on it. This looks like a fair deal. Um, looks like a fair deal definitely at the tier two but i'm not really sure right i'd have to look at this a little bit more but it's not really moving the needle for me and i'm not sure if it moves the needle for you and your business you let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that any further so that's quick real what does kind of have my attention a little bit and i'm still i don't i don't know if i love it but it is definitely new and different it's uh Orchestra, create wide label client portals using this all in one agency management system. Um, I mean, right now, to me, the standard is agency handy. Uh, I'd have to see what this I may pull this off this shelf and look at it head to head against agency handy. I just don't think that I'm going to be able to get the same value out of this because they're giving you agency team seats and they're wanting you to come up with 789 to get eight, 10 agency seats. And I think if we look at it, it may be on comparison with agency handy, but I'd have to look at that a little bit more. Uh, custom domain name. If I understand this correctly, because I did reach out to them, I don't know if I get multiple brands. I don't know if I get multiple domains. I think I only get one domain even though i have agency users whereas you look at an agency handy agency handy gives you multiple domains and you can email from each one of those domains 
using um SMTP. This one falls short of that. So I'm saying I'm looking at it. You do get the granular permissions and all that. I just don't think that this email sent from custom domain. So really you only have one domain that you can send emails from. So the only tier that's very valuable on this particular setup would be a tier four, but I only get 10 agency seats. Uh, I don't know. And um, I may look at this you can get pretty detailed with some of the things you can do. I just liken it to the more of these nesteds I get, the more confused I get, right? And that's just me. Uh, that's why I liked using Lyft OS. It didn't go into these series nested. It just kind of kept you on the surface and you can manage things and do your Kanban and all that. So uh, orchestra, orchestra is close. I almost pulled it off the shelf. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off the shelf because I don't, it's not, it's not passing the smell test of an agency handy, which is still here on AppSumo, by the way. So if I wanted that, I would get an agency handy instead of orchestra. Not saying there's anything wrong with orchestra. So then it's like who's a here. And again, we have another LinkedIn lead generation program. I think what I liked about this one, I didn't like the integrations, but I do like the fact that you can connect your own emails to it. I did like the fact that it gives you these pre-made uh, recipes kind of reminded me of um, um, I can't remember the name of that tool, but I do like when I get pre-made recipes, so I don't have to think about it a lot. Right. So I did like that. And I think I also like the fact that it allows me to connect my own email, my SMTP to do my own emailings as well. So I think I did like that. Um, I'm not really sure you get agency accounts, but you know, it's not really any white label or anything like that. You can only send 800, um, invitations per month, credits per use. Like, this is a really wrapped tight deal. This, this deal is super tight. I mean, it's really tight, right? It's pantyhose tight, right? This is, this is a tight deal. Not to say it's a bad deal. It's just wrapped pretty tight definitely for a LinkedIn tool, right? You normally get a little bit more leeway. That's if you run this up against um, the current tool that's there right now. Yeah, that's a little little tight for me. There's nothing wrong with it. I would have to pull it off the shelf to test it a little bit more, but I just kind of want to digest some of these tools and see if we can use them in our business. Uh, Brilliant Directories is a oldie but goodie. Um, a brilliant direction to me at this particular point is starting to show its age a little bit. Um, it is a very, very good tool, but it, it is starting to become uh, a monster to move around and navigate. And what I'd like to see from brilliant directories is um, kind of bring me up to speed a little bit, kind of bring me into the 2025s, if you will. But it's an oldie but goodie. But I'm I'm looking to try to get some architecture uh, upgrade on it. But make no mistake about it. Everyone, and I mean everyone, needs to own at least one brilliant directories. It's just I'm just giving you my my opinion. I own five of them, and they become a beast to move and to operate. But they're very, and I mean very good at what they do. So whenever you have an opportunity to own a brilliant directories, you definitely want to do that. Let me see if they made any changes or they added anything here. Brilliant directories is just it's it's a tried and true product. Um. No, they still have a tier six, 100,000 members. That's about right. Business instant records, 10,000 of them. Uh, one lifetime website. So yeah, this is still this is still good. You don't want to really get anything below, to me, a tier five. You start running it. You're really needing these webhook supports and these um, some of these other different things here, your claimable listings and stuff like that. If you don't look at brilliant directors, you don't look at a tier five and above, then I, I don't know what you're doing. And this is a business in a box again. Um, man, I got so many stories and, and ways to develop and deploy brilliant directors. It's, it's not even funny. All right. So what else do we have here? So at brilliant directors live to dot AI. Yeah, I looked at this. I may. I'm really, really close. It has integrations with big commerce, Magento, Shopify, WooCommerce. I'm wondering, I think I have a message out to the team there. I want to know, hey, can I integrate any of my other, like my launch card or my, or my, um, some of my other tools, like my sell done or something like that? Can I add those? 
I think I had a question to them. Let me see if they even answered it. They may have answered it by now. Hold on. Uh, let me see. So let's check real quick. Uh, newest. Oh, so oh, I did ask a question. Says, hey, so your tool only works with Shopify, Woo, BigCommerce, Magento. Only can I use it on my own e-commerce? Can you tell us which technology your custom site is built on? Our app works on custom website apps as well, but if it is not but it is not part of lifetime deal. Oh, well, maybe we need to find out about that. I think if I found out more about this, then if I can use this with a launch cart, I'd definitely be interested in that. And I'd definitely be interested. So this would get my attention. So this particular tool, and I'm going to go back and forth with them and see what we can do. And you guys comment below and you guys kind of help me with the comments. Um, we can try to see if we can get this to work with a launch card or something like that, then I'd definitely be willing to look at this a little bit more other than that right now. Um, yeah, they're trying to compare with lively. I don't know. I don't know if I can get it to work with a launch card. I'd definitely be interested in it. Right. And then the last, well, a couple more we're going to look at here. Um, Unifier being one, I've looked at Unifier in the past. Unifier is very, very good at what it does. Um, you can make lots of content pieces, very detailed content pieces too. By the by, the way, this was kind of the first one between this one and um, and um, Cast Magic. I've seen come and do a lot of multiple content pieces. Um, so Unifier definitely should be looked at. I already have that one. There should be a video available for that as well. That came back. Jammy, I'm kind of starting to see a lot of these tools pop up. Automatically transcribe and convert meeting notes into actionable reports for your team. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of these and I, I really need to know what it is that you're doing differently. I think they're using um, what we have is we have our own custom. We're getting all of our own custom um, tools and stuff like that. So these has the basic ones, the teams the um the zooms and that like that but we are needing something that can work into our own custom so jammy yeah and i have two of those already so there's nothing wrong with that i'm just letting you know that is a that is a tool that's out there actually i think i've seen it before i think it's come here before um it is it uses the um it does use a greeting editor it uses these chat bots things of that nature I think I pulled that off the shelf. I think I may even have Ansel. I can't even remember, but uh, I think I'm just okay with these types of tools because I've seen a hundred of them already. So I'm not saying there's anything bad with Ansel. I'm just saying it came back and I don't think Ansel is bad. Um, so I think if you don't have a chat bot that can answer questions for people, pull from your files and use from your knowledge base and use that. I definitely think that's something you should be able to look at. Um, what else do we have left? Upcoach. This is the last one. I kind of Upcoach is it's surprising. Upcoach is very, very good. Um, they came here several years ago. I want to say three years ago. And they hit with a splash. And they really Upcoach is a really, really good coaching tool. The unfortunate part about this particular deal is it's it's an annual plan. Um, they no longer have LTDs. Um, for this particular um, plan, but it is very, very good. Uh, coaching is kind of changing to me. And I think if they got into uh, if they got into doing some community base and add some other things around it, I think that would give this a little bit more wings. But since AI has dropped to me, coaching has changed. And I don't even know if this tool is as powerful as it as it's still irrelevant as it once was because coaching was all the rage once upon a time, but coaching has changed, but this is a very, make no mistake about it. This is a very, very good platform. I highly recommend it to anybody. I have the lifetime deal on it. It's very, very good. I think I did do a video on this one as well. Try to search the channel for up coach and you'll find that other than that. Uh, yeah, I think today is just, uh, I don't know. I'll give today out of a, out of a five talk, I'll get a day, maybe a three, a three taco. I'm going to start, start gauging these drops. I think the day's a three taco drop. Uh, I mean, they do have some tools like Unifier, Brilliant Directories um, that came back. 
maybe orchestra i'll take a look at maybe live too i'll take a look but this today was just it was just okay for me man it was just all right it was just all right for me man so and my my randy voice of american idol i think it was just all right for me man so anyway um comment below let me know what you'd like to see possibly more of i already told you the ones that i'm interested in pulling off the shelf i don't know if i'm gonna pull them all off the shelf but like i said live too i'm gonna ask a few more questions I may pull that off the shelf. Other than that, I may save money today. I'm going to give you another secret tool since you're here. All right. I'm going to give you another secret tool. And I told my community I wasn't going to tell it. I'm not even going to show you what the tool does. I'm just going to tell you don't want to miss the tool. Right. So where is it at? Where is the tool? Where, where are you hiding at tool? Where are you at? I can't find it. Give me one second. 